Every day we conclude the plenary assembly with a moment of prayer, evening prayer, and at times we have the chance to celebrate Vespers in another rite, as the Oriental rite. An important topic that we revisit every year is the protection of minors and the protection of vulnerable adults. I'm chair of the Standing Committee for Responsible Ministry in the Catholic Church for the CCCB. And one of our mandates is to follow up on the protocol, the protocol, the guidelines that we published six years ago called Protection of Minors and Vulnerable Adults. There were 69 recommendations in that document and one of the issues we're dealing with as a committee is asking ourselves where are we with the implementation of those 69 recommendations. So what we are doing today is breaking out into small groups, the bishops into nine groups, each one focusing on one particular aspect of those 69 recommendations and each group is going to develop um, you could say one measurable objective that we will achieve in our diocese this year, which will give us a, a group of nine objectives. And in the diocese then, we want people to be working on this so that next year when we come back, we can say, what have we accomplished and how have we moved forward? At the same time, have we met any obstacles, any resistance? What are our challenges in doing this? So that the committee can better help the dioceses respond uh, making sure that our environments truly are safe and secure for all people. Immigration remains a big challenge for the church today. And during this plenary assembly, we had the privilege to welcome a guest from the Dicastery of Promoting uh, Integral Human Development. And also a person from the Ministry of Migrants uh, from the Diocese of Montreal. It was a very important moment because it was a moment of reflection on a situation that there are many migrants and refugees. And in Canada, we have a large and a good tradition to welcome newcomers. But at the same time, uh, we need to face up to the new challenges because of the name great increase from year to year, how to welcome better uh, migrants and refugees. We had the, the benefit of having two experts, uh, Father Fabio Baggio, who's uh, consecrated his life to that subject and matter, and uh, uh, Signora, uh, Mrs. Uh, Alessandra Santo Padre, who also has been working a lot in that field in welcoming uh, migrants and refugees, so she, she's become an expert in the field. Yeah, the dioceses are already doing a lot, but uh, the idea, what can we do to do it better, how to welcome better? And there's uh, two aspects of it. One is the fact that uh, it's always how we see migrants and refugees. They are a blessing for the country and for the church. So to keep on seeing them as a blessing, even when there are difficulties, economic difficulties, social difficulties, not losing the fact uh, of sight that it are, it's a blessing for our country and for, the, and for the church. So that would be one of the aspects. And the other aspect is how can we do it better together? You know, Sometimes we work in our own backyard, uh, but we need to be related to each other and, and be better at doing it together also. And so I hope that all the Catholics in Canada will be aware of what the migrants are going through and be open to welcome them and keep them in their prayer.